welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that the following table shows the average monthly production of bikes in thousands for the years 1997 to 2006. Then for this data, determine first part, four yearly moving average figures, second part, four yearly central moving average, also plot the graph for actual values and trend values. Now before starting the solution of this question, we should know a result. And that is the procedure for calculating four yearly moving averages. Now for calculating the four yearly moving averages, in the question a data will be given to us. Here we consider this data in which the various values for the particular years are given to us. So here, by the use of the data given, we will find out 4 yearly moving total, then 4 yearly moving average, then 4 yearly moving average centered. Now the first step to calculate 4 yearly moving total is Add the values of the first four years, that is, we will add these four values and then place the total in between second and third year. So we will add these four values and we will place the total in between the second and third year, that is, at this place. So we will write A plus B plus C plus D and let us denote it as A1. Now in the next step, leave the first year value, that is we will leave this value and add the values of the next four years, that is the values for the second, third, fourth and fifth year. So we will add these four values and we will place the total in between the third and fourth year. So we will place the total in between third and fourth year that is we will write here B plus C plus D plus E and let it be equal to A2. And we will continue this process until the last year is taken into account. So in this way we have calculated four yearly moving totals. Now for calculating the four yearly moving averages, we will divide the four yearly moving totals, that is A1, A2, A3 and A4 by 4. So here in this case, it will be A1 by 4, here it will be A2 by 4, here A3 by 4, and in this case A4 by 4. And let us denote it as M1, this as M2, this as M3, and this as M4. Now, add the first two moving averages and divide by 2 to get the moving average centered and place this value against the third year. So against the third year we will write M1 plus M2 whole upon 2 and let this be equal to B1. And now add the next two moving averages and divide by 2 to get the next moving average centered B2 and place it against the fourth year. So we will write this at this place. It will be M2 plus M3 whole upon 2 and this is equal to B2. And in the same way we can find B3 so we have continued this process until the last moving average 
has been included. And after this, plot the points. That is the third year and B1. Then fourth year and B2. Then fifth year and B3. On the graph and join them to get the trend line. Now this result will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now in the question this data is given to us and we have to find the four yearly moving average figures and the four yearly centered moving average. Now we will use the result which is given in the key idea and we will form a table for the given data. So according to the given data we have made a table in which the first column is representing the years, second is representing the average monthly production of bikes in thousands. Then in the next column we have to find the four yearly moving totals. Then in the next column we have to find the four yearly moving averages and in the last column we will find four yearly moving average centered. Now for the four yearly moving totals, we will add the values of the first four years. Now these are the first four years. So we will add these four values and place the total in between the second and the third years. So we will place the total in between this and this year. So we will add these four values, that is 35.5 plus 37.0 plus 41.0 plus 43.5, which on calculating is equal to 157. Now for the four yearly moving average, we will divide this total by four. So this will be 157 by 4 which is equal to 39.25. Now in the next step we will leave the first year value that is this value and add the values of the next 4 years that means these 4 years and for these 4 years these are the 4 values. And we will place the total in between the third and the fourth years. That is, in between these two years. So we will place the total of 37.0 plus 41.0 plus 43.5 plus 46.2, which on calculating is equal to 167.7. Now for the four yearly moving averages, we will divide this total by four, so it will be 167.7 divided by four, which is equal to 41.925. Now in the next step, we will leave this value and we will add these four values and put the total in between these two years. Now on adding these four values, it will give 180.2. And for the four yearly moving average, we will divide this total by four, so it will be 180.2 by four, which is equal to 45.05. Now in the next we will add these four values and on adding them 
We will put the total in between these two years. So the total of these four values is 189.2. And here for the 4 yearly moving average we will divide this total by 4. And on dividing it by 4 it will give 47.3. Now in the next step we will add these four values and put the total in between these two years. And on adding these four values, it will give 197.7. Now on dividing it by 4, it will be 49.425. Now in the next step, we will add these four values and put the total in between these two years. Now on adding these four values, it will give 205 and 205 divided by 4 is 51.25. Now in the next step we will add these four values and put the total in between these two years. On adding these four values it will give 193.5 and 193.5 divided by 4 is 48.375 So we have continued this process until the last year is taken into account. Now for the four yearly moving average centered we will add the first two moving averages and divide by two. And we will place this value against the third year, which is the year 1999. So we will place this value here. That is, on adding these two terms and dividing it by 2, we are getting 40.5875. So this is equal to 40.5875, or you can write it as 40.6. Similarly, for the next we will add these two moving averages and divide it by 2 and place it against this year which is the year 2000. So on adding these two moving averages and dividing it by 2 we are getting 43.487 or by rounding off you can write it as 43.5. Now we will add these two moving averages and divide them with 2 and we will write the result against this year which is the year 2001. So we are by adding them and dividing them by 2 we are getting the result as 46.175 or rounding off you can say 46.2. Now for the next we will add these two values and divide them by 2 and place the result against this year. So the result is 48.3625 or 48.4. Now for the next we will add these two moving averages and divide them by 2. And we will write the result against this year. So the result is 50.3375. Or you can write 50.3. Now in the next step we will add these two moving averages and divide them by 2. And we will put the result against this year. So here we will write the result which is 49.8125 or you can say 49.8. Now here these are the actual values and these are the trend values. So now we will plot the graph for the actual and trend values. Now for the actual values, first of all we will plot this point on the graph. That is the point 1997 
35.5. Now in this graph, the x-axis is representing the years and the y-axis is representing the average monthly production of whites in thousands. So this is the point 1997, 35.5 on the graph. Now next we will plot this point on the graph. That is the point 1998, 37.0. So this is the point 1998, 37.0 on the graph. Now next we will plot this point which is the point 1999, 41.0. So this is the point 1999, 41.0 on the graph. Similarly, we will plot all these points on the graph. So we have plotted all these points on the graph. Now on drawing all these points, we are getting the graph for the actual values. And now we will plot the graph for the trend values. That is the moving average is centered. For this, first of all we will plot the point 1999, 40.6, then 2000, 43.5, then 2001, 46.2, then 2002, 48.4, 2003, 50.3 and 2004, 49.8. Now let us plot the first point which is 1999, 40.6. So this is the required point. Now next is 2043.5. So this is the required point. Similarly, we will plot all the points which are discussed earlier. So we have plotted all the points on the graph. Now by joining all these points, we are getting the graph for the trend values. And this is called, that is the graph for the trend values is called the trend line. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.